guys and gals, and Ari here from Drake Wing Gaming. And some of you may on Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Shelter. So, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> I better be good to you, huh? Please remember that on the day you outrank me. <laughs> no, that's gone too far. I. I. Which one is this? Is, is this. I can't tell, because this is Burry. And the guy in red, I don't know his name. I'm against that! Unofficial. Oh, it's Burry speaking. I'm against that! You're going to do what you're told. This isn't up for discussion. I refuse! I'm not going to experiment on... on... Do you wish to resign? Uh, what are you going to do if I do, huh? You need me. Without me, you'll be stuck chasing your own tails. Burry Tangleroot. Yes, sir? You truly have an extraordinary mind. Without you, we wouldn't have reached as deep an understanding of the world as we have now. This is constant, like... Oh. Okay, it's gone, okay. I, I believe that the current man management of your team is halting your true potential. How would you feel about a promotion? Without even a word uttered by the wolf, two of his guards step forward to... Without, a, without even a word uttered by the wolf, two of his guards step forward to apprehend my old companion. Indescribable fear swells in his eyes as he backs away to a corner. He knows what kind of fate awaits him if they take him alive. In horror, he bites his official signet, where substance bringing swift death is hidden behind the thin ruby. However, a pummel of a sword gets jammed between his teeth before he can break the gem. He thrashes and screams at the top of his lungs while being taken away. This is unfair. This is so wrong. That is, if you can do what your predecessor could not. This is not my place to judge. I shop. Out of fear, or... No, I understand the logic behind it. We should use minds that are easily impressionable for this experiment. Minds that have yet to build mental barriers that naturally come with time and experience. It makes sense to me. I'm surprised. You really aren't lying. You're not getting a kick out of it, are you? If I am not here to do it, you will make someone else do that in my place. Someone less competent. Those souls would be defiled in vain. The best I can do for those children is to make the absolute most out of their sacrifices. So no, sir. I'm not getting a kick out of it. I'm obeying orders. I see, I see. Good boy. I expect great things from you at your new position, Burry Tangleroot. He's brilliant, but terrifying. Does he even have a heart? He knows how to consistently force people into a blaze. He knows how far a person can be pushed before they break. He has reached more breakthroughs about the, about the monsters than anyone else in the last century. Is he going to unravel the world for us? You are to be relocated to our newly established base far to the north. There's something we would like you to investigate there. Stay warm. I'd rather die than be sent to the north. To him. No, please, you don't have to do that. Just kill me, please, please. I believe that the key to understanding the truth lies in connections that weave the fabric of our world. The way all living beings are bound to the world. The way we are bound to the monsters. The way we are bound to each other as fellow canines. If we are to uncover the truth, we have to push our understanding of this net of connections to its absolute limits. Only then can we break away from the hell of false eternity. Only then can we save the world. I cannot take this anymore. How much more death and suffering do I have to bring on to these people before the wolves deem it enough? This is, this is never going to be enough for them. Not until we uncover every single mystery of this world. And even if we do, what happens then? Good, probably. Burry? Is that you, brother? No. No! I didn't ask for him. Why did they bring him here? Anyone but my brother. Burry, what are they going to do to me? Are you going to heal me? The letter with orders that came with him specified that he suffered deep, advancing damage to his spiritual structure after crossing the corrupted Badlands. After years of my research, we finally have reliable methods of stopping corruption of that degree in alive patients. 
Sacrifices of hundreds of subjects brought us the understanding and means to help people like Chance. This is exactly what I've been justifying my atrocities with all this time. But the orders state not to cure him, precisely because he's my brother with whom I have a deep personal connection to. He's going to become a subject to push my research further. I'm expected to watch him become a monster. I have to keep my memories of him from dissolving from my core. Then I will research the means of reversing his corruption and bringing him back. You do remember me, right? Yes. Yes, I do, Chance. So this is what being drunk feels like. I do not like it. I heard it was supposed to make things easier, but I think it is having an opposite effect on me. Having a sharp mind can be a curse sometimes, but I hate this feeling of control slipping out of me even more. It's a terrible thought to know that monsters feel that to an extreme degree. And so does Chance now. I'm pathetic. Order the rest of my team out of the room under the pretense of an ongoing experiment with Chance. But really, all I'm really doing is getting drunk on whatever edible alcohol samples we have. Thank you. Water time. Alright, guys and gals, we are back. Alrighty. <clears throat> I fulfilled the royal orders in relation to my brother. I had the knowledge to help him, but I still watched him slip into a fate worse than death. I did not feel like I had a choice. The letter stated in advance that I would be supplied with three more corrupted subjects in case of failure. Dexter, Ace, and Trip, my other brothers. Were they deliberately blackmailing me? No, I don't think so. I am good at deceiving minds. They only really trust me. They all consider me a heartless, loyal dog. That definitely holds true. I have committed so many unforgivable sins for the Grove. But not this. Not to my brothers. And yet I did, and I followed all the instructions and used Chance's sacrifice to peer further into the cycle than anyone else has ever done in recorded history. I would never choose to hurt them for research or anything. I love them more than anyone else in the world. Yet the truth that can bring Chance back to us keeps eluding me. He is stuck in this form for all eternity, and I am the only one who still remembers who he was. There is no research for me. This is a tragedy. But I cannot let them find me in this state. They absolutely cannot learn that my resolution wavers. The moment they do, that is the end of everything. I could just leave, run away. Maybe they would decide to leave my other brothers alone if my disappearance made their participation in the experiment pointless. I think I could do that, if I was convinced that the whole endeavor was hopeless. But I am not. I was unable to bring Chance back at the moment of his transition, but he still helped me understand so much. I'm still anchoring some of his identity on this side of the cycle. I truly believe that the next time I'll be able to learn enough to save him. The only way to truly keep all my brothers safe is to succeed. For them, I shall become the master of life and death. We are not going to forsake you, Chance. We are coming for you. Burry? What are you doing here? Almost. Burry, I didn't expect a familiar face here. Next time, for sure. Burry, do you know what happened to Dexter and Trip? So close. I can't believe it, Burry, brother! So close. Wow, you look like shit, Burry. <laughs> Have you been all these years? Why? Why? Uh, I heard someone mentioning a tangle root, but I didn't expect to see you here, Burry. <laughs> Why does it still not work? Burry, I'm scared. We can't stop now. Burry, Burry, it's me, it's me. Let me out, brother. We have long passed the point of no return. Is that you, Burry? Are you feeling all right? You, you look sick. It's sunk cost fallacy, but, you know, with people's lives. Next time, for, for sure, I will. Hello, Gus. Oh, hello, Gus. It's me, Burry. I'm from the monastery. Do you need water? 
Gus is here, our oldest brother. Due to my failures, I corrupted him as well, and sent him to me as another subject. I wish to at least exchange a few words with him, but he refuses to speak with me. I couldn't even read him with my empathy. I do not I do not know what is on his mind. Maybe that is for the better. I shall inform our cook about your preferences. No meat fruit, yes? If you need anything at all, please tell the guard. You are my guest, and you shall be taken care of. I will visit you again tomorrow. Burry. What the hell have you done to yourself? What? I see. So we used to have ten more brothers, huh? That sure explains all the memory lapses. How do you- You're carving a scary ember. You're anchoring yourself to them, keeping their imprints etched into your soul. But I don't need to be a scholar to know that this isn't a way to bring anyone back. We aren't gods. We are created incapable of grasping the truth. Your work may very well forever remain incomplete. Once you die, you only add to their ranks. How does he know all of that? I was not even consciously thinking about any of those details. I'm vastly superior to saving empathy readings. I had to be to survive here. There's no way to a mere soldier like Gus would be able to read anything more than the most surface feelings at best. Hurry. Of course I know you. I'm your brother. Over the years of servitude to the wolves, I have been used to the feeling of superiority over the other dogs. Right now, however, I feel so small and exposed in front of Gus. Despite him being held in chains, naked while I stand over him clad in royal velvets, bandages of high badges of highest ranks and achievements adorn my chest and shoulders. I do not care about any of them. I never wanted them. Yet I have sacrificed everything for them, my innocence, lives of so many. I do not want that. What was it, what was it that I did want, then? What was it all for? Come here, Pudgy. I've been working hard to keep my memories intact for the years of this research. I keep my mind sharp, and I never forgot a single thing. But now it feels like I'm experiencing a memory lapse. Because for the hell of me, I cannot remember where I put my head on Gus's lap and started crying. He pets my head to calm me down. I have not felt so much at peace since our childhood. You have reasons to be proud, Burry. You've achieved more than any of us. But you're not happy. It doesn't matter how far you reach. The direction you walk is wrong, is, is wrong in the first place, right? It's always been the problem with you, Burry. You don't know what you want. You just do whatever other people tell you to. That's what the monastery wanted you to be. In that regard, you are a success to them. What about you? What do you want? I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Heh. <laughs> you know? There's a lot I don't remember anymore, with all of them gone. But there was something you just reminded me of. You betrayed us, right? We didn't talk much after that. That's because you never apologized. We waited for you to- It's too late for that now! How could I possibly make up for everything I have- I have- You have to succeed this time, Burry. Huh? I'm the last one, right? Use me to the fullest. Reach where you couldn't go with the others. I'll cooperate with you. I'm not too shabby with magic myself, you know. But you just said it's hopeless. Which, is, which one of us is the royal researcher? Me or you, huh? Don't let me or anyone else tell you that will tell you what you can or cannot do. Think for yourself, you daft pup. That's all I ever wanted you to do. If there's any hope for us, it lies in your thick head. Give those wolves what they want and save us. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for our silver tier patron, Cage Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!